Hi, my name is Mark, and this is the August showcase of the Service Desk Single Engineer Group. With Service Desk, our goal is to provide a complete customer support solution that integrates with the GitLab ecosystem and brings customers, support staff and developers closer together. Now you can use your custom email address to send and receive emails for Service Desk. Receiving emails works by forwarding them from your custom email address to the project-specific Service Desk address and we send Service Desk emails using your SMTP credentials. The release was planned for 16.3 but was delayed because of a low severity incident due to a global configuration override in a monkey patch of the mail gem. That has been fixed now and the feature has been rolled out globally to GitLab SaaS, so you can try it out now. It will be released in beta on self-managed in GitLab 16.4 and will be highlighted in the release post item. I recorded a short overview video of the feature and linked it to the documentation page. There you can also find a list of all requirements and known limitations. We also added logging so we can see what works and what doesn't work. Please note it's not included in service ping yet. My next focus. Internally we use GitLab triage to build automation on issues, epics and merge requests like adding or removing labels and commenting based on conditions. GitLab triage can run in scheduled CI pipelines and process rules defined in the YAML file. It's open source software, but not part of the GitLab product, and we don't offer support for it. But you can use it today to build automation for your projects and also for your service desk. I want to prepare content that shows how to use GitLab triage for your project with step-by-step -step instructions. Right now, service desk tickets can only have one external participant, and that's the author. Multiple external participants will enable you to invite additional email addresses to a ticket. Then we'll also be able to automatically include CC'd email addresses. I want to look into this and lay out a path to iterate on the feature. We managed to complete the settings page and backend endpoints for custom email and add Viber documentation. The feature didn't make it into the 16.3 release due to the incident, but it will most likely make it into the 16.4 release. So the goal for the milestone is to release custom email address in beta in 16.4. That's it for the moment. Take care and see you soon.